Hello guys, Mr. Shockwave King, and yes, I am back once again. And you saw the title of it. Yes, I posted a question, but great, great, great. Respect that name, the great. Uh, you can't even say Takamura without addressing the greatness of the great Takamura. <laughs> now you can say Takamura regularly. But uh, yeah, you saw the title of the video. Does Takamura has a attack reaction? Now? now this is something that's brought up r r roughly like once or twice, but it just. Eh, eh, I, I said I had a week to bring it up again when it first is boxing ability. And the reason why I bring it up now is because as we realize when you reanalyze that uh that my the the Richard Bison fight, you look at that. Okay, let's start where this entire thing comes from. It, it starts with Miyata. And I think I forgot who Miyata fought before. Takamura had his match at David Eagle. But ever since Miyata was sparring with the great Takamura, which you find if you watch Having Your Epo Rising. That uh, Miyata been worried ever since he hit Takamura with that uh, with that, I don't I mean it was a jab or a straight. Ever since then, he's been worried about Takamura in his right eye because he, he should have usually dodged that. And then when Epo informed him, but you know he was he stayed up all night fight, battling mosquitoes. And he wasn't able to sleep. It caused his concern with Miyata, and Miyata was uh questioning truly, truly what was happening. So he gave Epos, he got some books from Kumi, he's just like, dude, he's investigating it, those going deeper into the problem, everybody's yeah, wondering is it true or not. David Eagle fight come around, and it just, pretty much survives. He's able to still punch David Eagle, even though he was, even though one of his eyes was swollen, and the other one was just, was just bathing in blood, like they're doing some type of, some type of wood ritual. And it's just, he was able to do it, by remembering the punches of Coach Toragama. So he's able to pull it off there. But then again, the one that's, that's more concerning is Richard Bison. Now, initially, you say, ah, I, even I, I, I threw this off as just, what are you, what, what are you talking about? How, how would Richard Bison have any relevance to this? Because it's just, uh, he was just throwing a right front before the, uh, before the long left hook. And at first, you, yeah, I, 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 I would say that. At first, that made sense to me. Until you re, you re look at it, and you gotta wonder, would Takamura constantly get hit with the same left? Over and over again, because you seen when Richard Bison did not go for that long left with the supposed right feint. Takamo was able to hit him and punch him in his face. When he kept doing that long left hook, somehow, some way, Takamo was not able to see it. And at this time, I believe like only his left eye was closed. So Miyata didn't bring up the point earlier before he fought David Eagle that how you know he didn't remember these magazines? And doing a David Eagle fight was just like all right, he can do it. But this fight is just that's when one. Two, three. And maybe some guy put in a comment on the website I was reading that. Oh, stupid how talking more can get hit by the same hit. It, it's a fake. How would he see it? But is that what the case? Just like he was able to see the talk, uh, the whole, the whole, how he was able to stop the flicker counter and do a flicker counter and reflect the flicker jab. Will he constantly, honestly fall for the exact same hit over and over again? It is cause for concern. I can't confirm or deny if it's true or not. But. I'm gonna say to a certain degree, yeah, because I still don't believe that Takamura is gonna make it. Uh, he's gonna conquer six waist classes. It's five. He's gonna conquer five. But something's gonna happen with the fifth one. I don't know what it is, but Takamura should be quite old by now. Since he should be roughly like around 26, 28, 27. Maybe it's around that age. You know, it, it is around that time that uh, he said AJ Dante doing season one in the manga. That uh, about time for him to kick the bucket, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, we get this old man trying to steal box. So just uh, eh. Takamura is getting older, but the the, the tech retina thing, you know, like Takamura went to a doctor for it. You know, like he got checked up by Doctor Yamaguchi. <laughs> so I we can't truly know. So I, I can't really confirm it or not. It's, it's it's one of those things where it's, there is a good enough evidence for it. Boy, you said outright. I say there is some cause of concern. I say there is some warning for it. I say there is like, oh, you might need to get that checked out Takamori. Because Epo Miata never try to force Takamori to get himself checked out. That never happens. You never say like, hey, 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 Takamori. Some, someone tranquilize him. Ayoki, get get the tranquilizer. Now get off of me. What's wrong with you? And just drag him to the doctor. That never happened. 
and, and, and it's more likely a hide and repo thing because it, that, that's likely to happen. If you can have a parade where no one showed up and people nearly get murdered during a car accident as that savage Kumi just sit there and laugh like it's some type of joke because he's a monster just like her brother. It just, uh, I, I, don't know. I don't know. He never did get it checked out. He never did get looked at. He was never definitively confirmed if he had a detect retina or not. Because technically, just some might say, oh, yeah, he did not have any problems with Michael Goat. I mean, he did not have any problems with that, uh, that guy that looked like Mickey Mouse or anybody else. So it's just, or the Fox or anybody else. So it's just, he didn't have no problem with those. Most of just one shots, two shots, three shots, and the opponent goes down. But I mean, somebody can give him an, an honest challenge. But even then, Richard Bison. You can't really say he was, only, was even on the same caliber of opponent as Takamura at all. Cause look, David Eagle, David Eagle looked like he was doing all right, but when he got to the corner, he was just like, Hey, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> I'm barely holding on. What you talking about? I'm doing well out there. I'm nearly getting killed out there, man. Do you see this sweat? I'm fearing for, I'm over there fighting for my life. <laughs> I'm out there fighting for my life. So, I don't know. But I did make an argument on the wiki that most of his opponent he should have been able to beat easily or fast than he was able to do it. But, because, mm, because, because you can't really say, in, no problems really showed up with the, with the uh, Bryant Hug fight at all. But, now notice when you look at it, 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 it's not looking good for Taco more in his later fights. Because if, if you want shots a person, you can't tell if you have a tip tap right now or not, then, because mm, mm, mm. with the whole blind thing, it's just, Sure, he, he wasn't able to see temporarily, but that that's pretty much it. He, he just wasn't able to see temporarily, so you can't really outright say, "Oh, oh, 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 he's just he's he's good, he's good, he's good." So it, he hasn't been tested yet, so it just I, I'm gonna say partially he does. I, I do believe the detecting retina thing will come back up because the talk the box that Takamori is based off on did stop fighting over detect over a detached retina, so. I'm talking about like the physical looks, because uh, apparently the physical, uh, the actual fighting style comes from Roberto Durant, but apparently the physical looks come from some type of Japanese boxer who suffered the same fate of a detect wrestling. So the things are adding up here. All right? All right? Things are adding up. It's not looking good, but we can't outright confirm if Takamura has it or not. So it's just one of those things we're just like, it's, it's something to look out for, something to watch out for. Uh, Takamura should be going up a weight class at any moment now. Should be, should be. You got, you, can, you just can't have Takamura 100%. You got to spread out the Takamura. You got to seasoning the Takamura. With too much Takamura, I, I don't know. It's, it, Takamura is an art form. That's all. That's the only way I can explain it. It is an art form to write for the great Takamura. That's that's the only way I can I, I can attempt to explain it. But yeah, I know your thing. Do you take Takamura? Is does have a detached retina? I wish I can give you some type of definitive answer, but there's not enough evidence to prove if he outright does, because he hasn't been to a doctor. So even though some of the fights, especially that Richard Bison one, which should be very concerning for anybody who watched it, because it's just like, there is no way after the fifth time, Takamura would be pounded into the corner for that same thing. Talk about the same one who called everybody else a part of the peanut gallery. Everybody else, literally. I don't think Takamura is literally taking one opponent seriously. To the point, uh, well, I was gonna say seriously, but to the point where Takamura can actually get lose. Cause sure he did, was taking the abuse in the corner, but you can still tell Takamura was a better person, better boxer. Number one, that whole abuse in the corner with Richard Bison happened two ways: the, that faint he was doing, and the uh, uh what else? What else? What else? That, that faint and the fact that Char Takamura got a Charlie horse. If you never got that Charlie horse, then maybe you could say all, all this is just related to him being the lower weight class. But it's gonna really show in the heavyweight class whenever Takamura does get to it, if he has the detached retina or not. Because there's a lot of evidence to prove that he does, but it just, it's never outright stated. So I just hope for the best of the man. He's just uh, he is my one of the top favorite characters, the great Takamura. So it's just like it, 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 the saddest day would be to when Takamura lose. And the way I see. The only way I ever see Takamura losing is when Coach Gorgama dies. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible for him to live. I'm not saying it's impossible for him to live while Coach Gorgama was alive, but... The person like Takamura, unless someone really just... It just unless someone can pull out a Freddy Gonzalez and just... BLAM! And actually legitimately knock Takamura down. I don't see it happening. Sure, Rishi Bison was a tough opponent, especially with his flicker jazz, but... 
Takamura did the exact same thing for a period of time. Didn't just outright shut off his flickers altogether. To the point where he tried to choose it as Takamura gets that hold. We getting pounded in the corner. Takamura's like, fool, get that bullshit out of here, here. What are you doing? So it gotta be something related to the eye plus the Charlie horse, but it because Ghost Girl Gama has been mentioned that he is getting up there age when he fell over because of a cold, this and that. So I do believe Ghost Girl Gama will die eventually. And, and it will be sad. Maybe be similar to a uh I said it would be interesting because the worst case scenario is that Coast Code Gamma dies before he played even won the World Championship, like a Rocky Three moment. Because it is the same thing that happened to your boy Mike Tyson, who Epo is based off of. Custom Idol is his trainer who got him in the box and everything else. He, uh, he, he died and his boxing skill was not the same. So, a lot of things can happen, but I think they're going to be safe for talking more. Because Epo, he can survive without Coach Gorgama, just like he came up with a Dempsey role without Coach Gorgama. He will be affected drastically, but he'll be able to push himself further with the courage, that same courage he used against Freddy Gonzalez. But refer to Takamura. Takamura is even said by himself in the David Eagle arc. Is Coach Garagama's favorite surrogate son. He is the surrogate son of Coach Garagama, since Coach Garagama has no children. Which is quite sad, no matter which way you look at it, but... I do believe the death of Coach Garagama will be the death of Takamura's career. Because after that point, I don't think he's going to be willing to box anymore, to be honest. And it is a sad thought to bring up the, that a, a character like this, I, I, I love the coach as a character, that could potentially die. But that's the only way I see Takamura legitimately losing. Unless it's the detached retina. That's the only way. Because I do believe, after he get in the heavyweight class, he have a good showing. They will say, like, they, you know, Takamura was a great pox. He was able to uh, conquer five weight classes, but... You know, ever since his coach died, it just, it, it just, he was never the same. And he just, and I do believe after that, he, he, maybe then, maybe then, he'll finally get with Dr. Yamaguchi and make the right decisions. Maybe then. But I don't know, I just, I, 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 that realize this when you realize that Dr. Yamaguchi is like seven years older than him. It's just, eh. Now, I'm not talking more to Epo, it's just, a little, I, I was looking at some scenes, and, and that's pretty much it. It's not like the whole Sendo teacher and, uh, and Sendo. Now, uh, Cinder could be easy like a good 14, and, and, and she had uh, sexual feelings for him. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's been Mr. Shockway King. I hope you enjoyed the video. What do you think about talking more on these detached retina? And, and if you already have your own opinions of that, what do you think about uh, how you think talking more would lose later in his career? I got my own personal opinions and, and my own personal thoughts that you just heard. Well, let's see what you guys think in the comment section below, even though there's no one there. At least I don't think there are. But uh, yeah, be boy Shockway King, and then. Uh, what what's your thinks about this? This is my mount pen. Does he have a detach right now? And then uh be Mr. Shockwave King and uh Peace. McReese L. DeReese.